Very few examples of Greek computational methods have survived. In fact, our best examples come from Theon of Alexandria, who lived in the 4th century AD, and Eutelchius, who lived in the 6th century AD, almost a thousand years after the main developments in Greek mathematics. The examples suggest algorithms for multiplication and division very similar to our own, but worked with Greek numerals. One example of a Greek multiplication comes to us from Eutokius in the 6th century, who computed the product as... Now, translating these numbers into more recognizable forms, this is 1,351 times 1,351, And the partial products are where we use the comma to separate the ten thousands place from the thousands, so there are in fact four zeros after the comma. So note that the first row of the partial products is one hundred ten thousands, thirty ten thousands, five ten thousands, and one thousand. And what's important here is to note that if you were to multiply one thousand times 1,351, you would get this number, but Eutokius doesn't write it that way. And the fact that Eutokius wrote it the way that he did indicates that he multiplied the digits one at a time. In other words, we found 1,000 times 1,000 to give us 100 ten thousands, 1,000 times 300, that's 30 ten thousands, 1,000 times 50, 5 ten thousands, 1,000 times 1, 1,000. And a similar pattern prevails on the second, third, and fourth partial products. And this suggests that the process of multiplication is to multiply each digit of the upper factor by the first digit of the lower factor, repeat with the remaining digits, and then add the partial products. So we might try Eutokius's method to multiply 75 by 38. So 75, that's 70 and 5, and 38 is 30 and 8. So for the first row, we'll multiply the top row by 30. 30 times 70 is 2100. 30 by 5 is 150. For the second row, we'll multiply the top row by 8. 8 by 70 is 560. 8 by 5 is 40. And then we'll add the partial products. And we can find products of three-digit numbers as well. 217 by 195, that's 210 and 7 by 190 and 5. And first we'll multiply 210 and 7 each by 100. Then by 90. then by 5, and add the partial products. 